Hello everyone, welcome to Crafting with Barbara. So my tutorial today is going to be a fake bake cake. It's going to be a Christmas theme one. I am working on trying to get my house decorated and get a lot of things going for Christmas. So I've just been little by little working on things, but I wanted to take a quick break and I wanted to make this cake just because I found some pieces um, while I was unpacking Christmas things on some things that I love very much and I really really would like to make a cake out of this um, So let's get started. So right here. I have my spackle um, It's like a it's not like a completely white white color But we're gonna make it work um <clears throat> And then here on the side, I have my foam already cut out and glued together. All I did was take foam and cut out circles, which I use um, these lids to the birthday. I have like three different sizes. So this is my biggest size. And it helps me just get a, like a perfect circle. I, I just love it. So um, don't laugh at my piece of paper here, parchment paper, but... I didn't feel like running upstairs after I got started to go get another piece. We're going to make this piece work. Seriously, I didn't feel like doing all that. Okay, so um, we're going to use this old thing here I found from Dollar Tree. You're not going to really see none of the ugliness from it. Um, I haven't been able to go out because, like I said, I've been busy trying to get things done. Um, I haven't really been able to go out, like, to the dollar store to, like, actually shop for stuff that I need and stuff like that. So, um, I'm just, like, kind of working with what I got. Um, so, let's get started here. So, on here, I have my cake ready. Um, we're going to glue... A stick in here. Well, actually, I don't want to glue it. Okay, where's my favorite stick? Okay, guys, it kind of disappeared on me. Well, okay. We're going to put something up. Here, we'll, we'll use this one. It's just to put something there to help. Hold. You know you're not going to see the hole once we're done here. Okay, so like I said, I got some spackle ready right here. And... Let's get started. Um, so I kind of wanted to put, I don't want to tell you guys yet what I'm working on, which you guys are going to know anyway. But anyways, we'll get going from here to there. Let's get, um, I want to get the um, spackle on our cake form first. So it's like a, I want to say, I want to say like a light, like a very light gray. That's what I kind of want to say it is. On color wise. So like I said, I only had this little piece. I did not feel, I do this to myself all the time. I get ready to get started and then I realize I didn't, I'm missing something and um, I'm already over it and I don't feel like running to go get it. So that's kind of what happened just now. Then I was upset because I wasted about a good hour of my time 
that could have been on this video or whatever. But I wasted a whole hour trying to find one of my little pieces that I'm supposed to be using today. So I had it. I had all my pieces here. And I think it got legs. I think it grew legs in the timing of me sitting it down from when I found it to me going upstairs and doing something else and then coming back downstairs to get ready for this. I lost it. And I literally wasted an hour before starting this video trying to find it. And I could not find it. And I said, you know what? If I sit here and I keep looking for it and I keep looking for it and I keep getting mad, I'm not going to find it. And I sure enough did not find it. So I gave up and I said, I'm just going to go with it. And when I do find my little piece, I will add it on. But for now, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go with it because I wasted so much time and just sitting here trying to find it after I literally had it in my hand. I set it down for a quick minute because I did not want to lose it because it was so little. I lost it anyway. I looked everywhere. I, I can't find it. I just can't find it and I'm really like losing my patience. So I gave up. I ain't gonna lie, I gave up on looking for it. So, it, I guess it just doesn't want to be part of this cake right now. So, when I do find it, I will add it. I was so upset. I was so excited when I found it because it was like, oh my God, I found what I was looking for. I was so excited. <sighs> Set it down, now I can't find it. Only me. So I just said, you know what, whatever, I'm just gonna let it be, and when I find it, I will add it. Not a big deal. We got this on there. So the pieces I will be using today for this cake, this will be a cake that I will not give away. This will be a cake that I will definitely keep as long as I can with me just because the pieces that I will be using, some of the pieces was bought to for me from my mommy and you know, she passed away. So everything I used that was hers or that she got me, I tried to like really cherish because she's no here no longer. So she can't just buy for me again. So I try to hold on to everything. Some people say it's not good to hold on to certain things but to me I feel like you should hold on to those precious things
All right, we got our cake all iced up. Now, let's move this over here. And I want to glue. I kind of want to glue the cake to here. Just gonna go ahead and get some glue on here. Pick this up. Hold it a couple minutes here. Stick out of there. All right, and then let's get this little hole covered up right here. See, it's like it was never there. See, it was never there. Okay, so we got our cake on here. Um. Before I add Just getting some white glitter put, you know, you've been watching me for a while, you know my, my cakes have to have some shine to them. Okay. And then... I have these little white foam balls that I freaking hate. And I kind of want to put them along the bottom. making them go around and kind of like get stuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt it and get whichever ones are like loose and extra. These balls really make me mad. Right, let's put this. Let, let me move this. Maybe we don't make a mess like that. Let's put the cake. So this is kind of like the back of my cake, and this is kind of like the front of the cake. You see I have more of a gap like towards the front of it. 
Okay, so now I say let's start putting our pieces. That way I can work around it. So, our thing today is, can you guys take a guess? So, like I said, this is the back and this is the front. So, we're going to put the leg lamp like right here. See? And then this comes off, and I have a little tea light that you can put here because, you know, you don't want to put a real candle there and, and burn it. But you can't really see it because of, like, the brightness in here. So, but I will get pictures. I'm going to sit it to the side here a minute. We're going to go ahead and put this back up here, and then... So, I have a little Ralphie. So, this is the story I'm about to tell you guys. Um, I can't find Ralphie's, ri um, what is it, a rifle? Is that what it is, a rifle? So, he came with a little rifle. I can't find this rifle. So, I apologize for that. Okay, now, um, I have here on the side, like, a little, just a little piece of, um, uh, like, a little stick. We get at, um, Dollar Tree. And I painted it, like, a grayish-looking color. So, I want to stick this here. But we have to make so what I was thinking was okay. Ralphie's gonna go right here. Wrong spot, Ralphie. Sorry. Ralphie's going to go right there. Where you can still see him, but you can still see the leg. And then I have his friend. I can't remember what this friend is called. Remember him? You can't really see, but his tongue's out a little bit. So I kind of made him a pole. So, I want to put the pole here and then kind of put. Okay, I think I know where I want to put him. All right, so then I have a little tree. I kind of want to sit the tree right here. It's like these little fur balls. I'm going to put the tree right here. I have a little 
present. Set the little present. Okay, then we have some glasses. Okay, we're gonna set the little present, I think, down here. And we're gonna set the glasses. Can you guys see down here? Or maybe we'll put... the presents down here. And I think we're gonna put the glasses up here. But before I do that, I have some of this. He went for a tumble. It's okay. We saved them. Okay. He's good to go. Let's put some snow there. That's what I was trying to do without knocking Ralphie down. I end up knocking them down anyway. All right, and then let's get his little friend on here. I'm thinking Trying to think where I want to put his friend. So I was thinking right here. And then put the stick like in front of him. Okay, I need to stop spinning this hard. Because Ralphie's not trying to stay there good. And... All right, we're gonna put the friend down at the bottom. But I wanted to put... Try to put at least a little bit of glue. And then we're going to add 
just a little bit pinch more of this. Okay. See, and I put it like if he, I wanted to put it like if his tongue was um, stuck down there. And then um, I wanted to put, We need to get some of this take the presents off for a quick minute okay so what I want to try to do is let me get So what I wanted to do was I'm going to try to put a little bit of So I want to put some piping Just because I want to um, add like some more around the bottom. Try to get as much as I can in here just to uh, try to like
little bit more in here. I'm making a mess, but when don't I? A little piece that's kind of stuck in there. It's not letting it. Sorry about this, guys. around and like dabbing into it Now let's put Ralphie's drunk, guys. Maybe I should have glued him in there. In that little piece right there. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. Let's try to move. I'm going to try to move this a little bit. And I'm going to try to glue him down. I know once the spackle and everything dries, he won't move. Whoa.
All right, so I got my favorite spray here. Whoa. That I sprayed the wrong way. Woo. Lucky my face wasn't too close. Okay. You know what? Let's put... All right, then we have his little glasses I have here. Just to give it that extra whiteness. I love it. I think it turned out so freaking cute. Okay, so wait. We got to stick our presents back down here. And then we're going to put his little glasses right here in the middle. Slowly turn it around before things go flying off again. Okay, then I'm going to try and see if I can get some more of these on here. Because it kind of looks like snowballs. I love it. I wish I would have had some more little presents. I got some peppermints though. We'll put, put a little peppermint in the, in the ground there. See? Give him a little peppermint. Alright. Just trying to get as much as up here as I can. That way we don't waste none. Even though, like I said, I always make a mess. When don't I? All right. I love the way it turned out. I just got to put my little tea light inside of here. But like I said, you you can't see it right now. But maybe like once all the ring lights and everything's off, you'll be able to uh, see them a little bit better. Or we'll see it a little bit better. All these little extra, it's just more on to it to look. I had like little pieces I wanted to put. Oh, you know what, guys? I do have some trees. I 
had some trees down here. Some trees going around. Ugh. I really made a mess. I don't know where all these little fur hairs came from. So once this dries a little bit better, I'll be able to like add more to it, like for like this don't come off. Okay. I think that's good enough for now. Put a little gingerbread down there. Why not? See? And I think this turned out pretty cool, guys. We're done. You just got to like pat them down real slow, real gentle. That way they like kind of like stick down on the little. Okay, we're done guys. I really love the way this turned out. Tell me what you guys think. Like I said, I have a little tea light that I can put in the lamp part, but I have it right here, but you're not going to be able to see it. Um, with him falling, he got a little dirty, but you know what? It's okay because it's supposed to be like snowy, so it's like he got dirty from the snow, so that's fine. So, I really think it turned out pretty cool. Oh, my little dingy fell. Don't be falling. I love it. I put some little trees like along the bottom. That way it didn't look like it didn't. I know I had more, but I think I think that's enough. And then I had some tiny ornaments that I also wanted to put. And I don't know where the heck those went either. Snowflake.
a little snowflake there. I can't even see it. <laughs> so I had some little things that I wanted to... Like I had a um, couple little... I don't know where they went though. I don't know, guys. I used all the little trees, I believe. Oh, wait, there's a tree right there, guys. I think these trees are so adorable. I think I got these trees at Dollar Tree. So we're going to put this little tree right here because I feel like there's a gap right here. We'll just right there. That way we don't have to, like too many gaps in between. All right, guys. So we're done. I hope you guys like this tutorial. It was fun. It was easy. Um, it's been a while since I made a cake. So I'm glad I was able to do that. Um, comment down below if you guys think it came out pretty cool. I tell you and I pushed a lot of them down and it's like every little breathement I do hard on it they go flying off but it's okay like I said once it starts drying up a little bit they'll start like sticking on they'll start sticking on and, and looking better so I hope you guys like it and um, please don't forget to give this tutorial a like. And please don't forget to continue to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.